Hi folks, so here's a little uh, experiment that I'm planning. This is my quad. Um, it's a pretty normal quad and it's really good for flying around in the daytime. Uh, it's not great for flying around at nighttime because, you know, it just has a very simple camera and, you know, if you fly around during nighttime, you can't really see that much and your chances of crashing are going to be much higher. I live in Iceland. During winter in Iceland, we get about like during during the during the absolute lowest period, we get about three hours of sunlight every day, which is going to make it really difficult for me to fly outside this coming winter. So I've been thinking of of solutions. One of the solutions that I came up with is lights. Basically, putting little headlights on the quad. Um, so I went online and I looked into what sort of lights I could get because. Obviously, it can't draw too many amps because I don't want to affect my uh, my flight times. So what I came up with are these tiny LED nodes. These go up 12 volts, and I'm fairly certain that I can just connect them directly to the PDB, to the 12 volt output on the PDB, and yeah, that'll connect. That'll uh, give me some illumination, and then I just gotta figure out where to actually put them on the front of this quad. I mean, I might put them just sort of on the plate where the camera is. That might actually be the simplest solution. Just start by putting one there and then see how that turns out. So I'm gonna try that out and let you guys see what happens. Okay, so I think that to start out, I'm actually gonna see what happens if I just power this directly off a 12 volt source. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal the, um, I'm gonna steal the power supply for my charger. Just try that out. Wow, that is really bright. So now we just gotta find a good way to install it. Let's Okay, so here we are. This is the finished product minus um, So I'm gonna see how this actually works. Okay, here we go. I mean that just looks like spaceship or something. Okay, so let's try to fly it. So here's some flight video coming up now. I'll tell you what, it's a good thing that Iceland's a safe country. It is pitch black out here. So let's see how well this flight actually works.
Okay, it's officially decided this does not work. Okay, so I think the conclusion here is that yes, you probably could put headlights on a drone, but you need more than just these small LED notes. Um, there was a couple of problems. Uh, the number one, the biggest problem is of course just that uh, I couldn't. I can see enough, so you need a lot more light. Uh, as soon as you're about um, five to ten meters from an object, you, the light basically becomes inefficient. Um, so yeah, that would that makes it really difficult to fly at night. The other issue is that um, the I, I suspect that the power draw was causing my VTX to show some like fluctuations. Um, I was getting a little bit of uh, uh, tearing in my screen when I flew it during daytime, so I suspect that was because the amp draw of the um, of the lights was was too high so what i would say is probably uh, you'd, you'd probably need a separate um, step down module or, or, or a bec for that if you were going to power any real rig of lights and i mean of course if you if you start adding more lights to make it work better you're going to start drawing more amps and then you're gonna start to impact your flight time. So I feel like this is this is, if possible, then this is a very hard task with, with only just like a, a five inch mini quad because you're at the end of the day you're always gonna be affecting your flight times that much. So, but who knows? Maybe one day uh, if I have a seven inch, I'll give this another try and get a bigger light, lighting rig. But until then, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.